G.K. Chesterton said, The man who lives in a small community lives in a much larger world. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Philip Yancey. Philip writes, Community is the place where the person you least want to live with always lives, says Henry Nouwen. Often we surround ourselves with the people we most want to live with, which forms a club or a clique, not a community. Anyone can form a club. It takes grace, shared vision, and hard work to form a community. The Christian Church was the first institution in history to bring together on equal footing Jews and Gentiles, men and women, slaves and free. The Apostle Paul waxed eloquent on this mystery which for ages past was kept hidden in God. By forming a community out of diverse members, Paul said, We have the opportunity to capture the attention of the world, and even the supernatural world beyond. Philip continues, In some ways the church has sadly failed in this assignment. Still, church is the one place I visit that brings together generations. Infants still held in their mother's arms, children who squirm and giggle at all the wrong times, responsible adults who know how to act appropriately at all times, and those who may drift asleep if the preacher drones on too long. If we want the community experience God is offering to us, we have reason to seek a congregation of people not like us. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 19 through chapter 3, verse 11. Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people, and also members of His household, built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus Himself as the chief cornerstone. In Him, the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. And in Him, you too are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by His Spirit. For this reason... I, Paul, the prisoner of Christ Jesus for the sake of you Gentiles, surely you have heard about the administration of God's grace that was given to me for you, that is, the mystery made known to me by revelation, as I have already written briefly. In reading this, then, you will be able to understand my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed by the Spirit to God's holy apostles and prophets. This mystery is that through the gospel, the Gentiles are heirs together with Israel, members together of one body, and sharers together in the promise in Christ Jesus. I became a servant of this gospel by the gift of God's grace given me through the working of His power. Although I am less than the least of all the Lord's people, this grace was given me to preach to the Gentiles the boundless riches of Christ and to make plain to everyone the administration of this mystery, which for ages past was kept hidden in God, who created all things. His intent was that now, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms, according to His eternal purpose that He accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. That's today's scripture reading from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 19 through chapter 3, verse 11. Dear Heavenly Father, remind us that the church is your work and that you've brought us together for your good purposes. Help us to extend grace to others and to be patient and loving to them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.